Hi guys, and welcome back to an episode of Andrew's Boozy Concoctions. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a treat for you today. We are going to be doing the Boozy Shamrock Shake. Now, there are a lot of recipes for a shamrock shake uh, out there, but I'm going to be showing you my version of the shamrock shake. Now, I do two ways of a shamrock shake. I do an icy version and I do a milky version. I'm going to show you how to do both versions. First, let's start off with the uh, icy version. So here I have some green creme de menthe, some vodka, Bailey's, some um, peppermint schnapps, white creme de cacao, ice, hurricane glass, and some green sugar. Now, you can go out and buy green sugar. If not, just simply um, get normal sugar and add uh, green food coloring uh, to it and just, just mix and that'll give you that nice light green sugar. So without further ado, let's get started. So we first start off with one ounce of green creme de menthe. Creme de menthe has different colors, but green and white are our most common. For this, we're gonna be using green creme de menthe. So in the blender that goes. There we are. So we're now going to add now one ounce of Bailey's or you can use any kind of Irish cream for that matter. And that goes. I'm actually going to switch that to some um, Belvedere which I find is a very nice smooth rich vodka. It's actually one of my, my um, favourites actually. So I'm going to add in one ounce of Belvedere vodka. There we go. And that goes. One ounce of white creme de cacao. So it gives like a real sort of creamy, milky flavor. One ounce peppermint schnapps, which is one of my favorite liqueurs because I love really mint, uh, minty flavors. So one ounce of this. I love the smell of it too. If they made an aftershave that was like that sort of smell, I would love it. So now I'm going to add um, our ice into our mixture. There we are. There it goes. Right. So now I'll put the lid on top. And uh, I'm just going to uh, fast forward here, guys, to avoid the uh, noise. So now we are going to rim our glass with the uh, sugar. So sugar I'm just going to pour out. There we are. Nice colour. So let's spread out evenly. Have our hurricane glass. Our lime, just so we can rim the glass with lime juice. You can use corn syrup, but I prefer to do uh, lime juice. And now we just simply sugar rim the glass. Very nice. Okay. That's now done. I'm now going to undo the top of this. Unscrew. Okay, so that's done. Very creamy, very icy. This drink is very similar to a grasshopper, only icy and with a bit more uh, punch to it. So that goes. Spoon now. We'll go in. Pour. There we are. Now, have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the icy version of the Shamrock Shake. Now, joining me is Raquel, who will be taste testing this. So cool. I love the colour. It's a nice actually colour. Yeah. And it's green too. My favourite colour as well. Oh my god. It's kind of like... Oh, you know those um, 
mint slice biscuits. Yes. It literally tastes like that, but in liquid version. Really? Yeah, it's so good. This is a mint lover's dream because you got both the creme de menthe and both the uh, peppermint schnapps. So two very minty flavors giving one hit, but you also get that little punch of the um, vodka and creme de cacao. It's really good. I like it. <laughs> Glad to hear. Now let's get started on our second drink, which will be the same drink, but a milky version. Just a slight variation of the drink, whether you prefer one or the other, it's up to you, but both are equally a good drink. Okay now, so this is now the milky version. So very similar start, so one ounce of creme de menthe. Another favorite liqueur of mine, because I love all things minty. That goes. One ounce of Bailey's or any Irish cream that matter. Okay. Here's where it get, get, gets different. Instead of adding Belvedere, I'm adding in an ounce of vanilla vodka. Just enough. One ounce of peppermint schnapps. There it goes. Okay guys, now here's where it gets different. This is where we add in the milk. So, I'm gonna now add in two ounces of milk. For those that are lactose intolerant, you can use almond milk or coconut milk for that matter, or even soy milk. Second milk, second ounce added in. Yeah, another beautiful green drink on a um, St. Patrick's Day. So I'm gonna give this one uh, a taste test. That's actually bad. It's very, very, very similar to a, um, a grasshopper cocktail, but it's just got a bit more of a, of a punch to it, but it's still very well, well balanced. Um, the sugar is giving it a little bit of, a bit of sweetness, but it's quite minty. Like um, for those that, do love mint flavored drinks. This is a kind of drink that um, you would enjoy. Uh, for someone that isn't quite big on that mint, minty flavor, I would not, I'd steer away from this side drink. Um, but yeah, um, this is all the time we've got for um, today. Uh, again, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe guys. And uh, I will see you guys next time. In the meantime, Stay boozy.